Blessings. Welcome home, my family. Something coming up for me at this time is the importance for me to spend time in nature. And without these moments, there's a lot of unrest inside of me. And some of this unrest has been this harsh criticism and this inner self-critic that is constantly attacking myself, my self-image. I'm overly self-aware. And at times these are completely inaccurate judgments or perhaps not positive statements or half-truths, untruths. And when you're in it, or should I say when I'm in it, it can feel true. And these feelings of this is true can be very, very painful and overwhelming, especially when I'm believing the lie, the story that I'm telling to myself, how I am unattractive, unlovable, imperfect, and there's many different forms that this takes over time. And some days are harder than others. Sometimes it's judging my voice or the fact that I have feelings at all. Sometimes I'm feeling like I'm feeling too much and that can be overbearing. And sometimes I'm very blessed to be surrounded by other people. And these people, they remind me about my truth and help make it a little louder. I recently had an experience where I shared with a woman some of the things I was carrying and she was, I want to say the word impressed, um, but perhaps that's not the term. And it was a recognition of that where she said, that's so much. <laughs> and it was very validating to hear her interpretation of my experience because I felt like I wasn't being strong enough and I just wanted to be stronger and to be different than I was and that was a little bit of a challenge to accept how I was in that moment and being upset with myself that I was not different than I was and something that's been helpful to me is recognizing the importance of me having touch and safe touch and I've been working with different practitioners since I have moved to Washington. And I've recently been blessed with someone who's been very, very helpful to my experience. And she's the woman who had said the statement as mentioned earlier in this video. So this is where I'm at. I'm honoring it and recognizing it as a moment in time that this too shall pass. And furthermore, on a bright note, I have a new yearning, a new experience that I dream and I'm adding to my bucket list that I would like to learn to do ceramics and pottery. So on top of horseback riding, I'm hoping this year that I will get to experience and to learn something new along these lines. Until next time.